Review, 2022 Land Rover Defender 90 V8 pulls like a hungry dog on a leash. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you, thank you. The short and loud one. That's what I dubbed the 2022 Land Rover Defender 90 V8 within 4 minutes of being behind the wheel. Land Rover has taken its incredibly capable new Defender and supercharged it with a V8 engine to make it one of the most ridiculous and capable SUVs money can buy in the US today. This might not even be the top dog model, yet. But more on that in a minute. Constantly tugging on the leash. The second I pushed the start button my senses were greeted with the sweet, sweet sound and vibrations of a massive V8 performing a cold start. It's a bit more subdued than expected, but it's still a deep guttural tone. Land Rover shoved its well-known 5.0-liter supercharged V8 under the hood of the Defender V8 in place of the standard 2.0-liter Turbo 4 or available Turbo 6. Here it produces 518 horsepower and 461 lb-ft of torque through a well-sorted 8-speed automatic transmission. Full-time four-wheel drive is standard, as is a two-speed transfer case, of course. An SVR model with more power might be in the works already. But this very well could be the last hurrah for this engine as Land Rover moves on to a BMW Source Twin Turbo V8. At a stoplight with auto start stop enabled the engine comes back online with such vigor the Defender essentially leaps forward like a hungry dog on a leash. It can barely contain itself. Mash the throttle and the front end lifts on its air suspension as the rear squats and the short and loud one lunges forward. Land Rover claims it will sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds and that feels about right. It's not violent like the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk was, and it's slower than the V8-powered Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392 on 35-inch tires with its 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint of 4.5 seconds. Still, it snaps your back into the seat back. The quad exhaust tips peek out from beneath the short rear overhang. The more pedestrian defenders hide the exhaust tips for better clearance and departure angles. Still, the V8 model's tips are tucked up close to the bumper to avoid being damaged off-road. Cruising down the road, the Defender has much better manners than a Bronco or a Wrangler. Outward vision is terrific with a high seating position, low dashboard and cowl, and tall windshield, which is much more curved than those in the Bronco and Wrangler. It's quieter, too, thanks to a non-removable metal roof, curved windshield, smaller side mirrors tucked in closer to the body, and thicker non-removable doors. It's more comfortable and controlled thanks to its well-sorted four-corner independent air suspension with adaptive shocks. Inside, the Defender V8 features soft-touch materials, rubberized trim, a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster, and a 10.1-inch touchscreen infotainment system, though my tester featured an optional 11.4-inch touchscreen. The latter is easily the best infotainment system in the automaker's history, which isn't exactly a high bar. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.